money, 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 money. Well, if you've been watching the Olympics, you know that there is very often a PS to all those dreams of Olympic gold, and that's the dream of making millions of dollars in endorsement deals. Well, tonight we are going to introduce you to four people whose companies are worth not just millions, but billions. And they did it without ever having to dive into a pool or get on a balance beam. They tapped into the American dream by creating something people wanted. And they have some lessons to pass on about how you might be able to make it big, too. It is the music of Michael Jackson, paired with the magic of Cirque du Soleil. Cirque du Soleil's legendary creator, Guy La Liberté, is adding the touches of genius that have made him the most Hi successful guys, circus empresario working today. Thank you, everybody, also. He is a psychedelic version of P.T. Barnum with a personal worth of over 2.5 billion. Been hit by a smooth His elite acrobats and circus performers rehearsed for over a year for the Michael Jackson Immortal Tour. Go! What will you change? So far, nothing. nothing. I'm very so pleased. Happy. I'm very happy. It is the largest and most ambitious traveling show ever done by Cirque du Soleil or anyone else. It's sold out across the U.S. and next year it will tour around the globe. Michael is a great performer, was a great creative person, and very similar to who we are at Cirque du Soleil, a dreamer. Guy was always a dreamer too. Growing up near Quebec City, Canada, he was restless and wanted to see the world, so he left home at 16 with his father's accordion to play for money on the street, and he earned enough for a plane ticket to London. I went there with $50 in my pocket, and I spent my first night in London uh, on a bench. Every time now I go in London, I take a room which I have a view on this bench. Hanging out with fellow street performers, he learned to walk on stilts and even breathe fire. And he returned home to Canada with an idea. There was an old dream among, among the uh, street performing community of Quebec about doing our own circus, decide to give a shot at it. Out went the ringmaster and the performing animals, and in came jaw-dropping displays of agility, dance, and theater. Cirque du Soleil was well-received in Quebec, but Guy knew he had to take big risks to be really successful. I knew that to survive with Cirque du Soleil, you had to export it out of Canada. You took Cirque du Soleil to California. Yes, 1987. And that was a huge risk. We basically took all our last penny, put everything on the train and the truck, sent it to LA. If we didn't succeed there, we probably had no money to bring back our equipment back in Canada. So it was basically live or die in LA. Guy convinced Thomas Schumacher, then director of the 1987 Los Angeles Arts Festival, to give his circus a chance. He exuded such confidence. Man, woman, or mule would fall for Guy La Liberté. He could charm anybody. At the time, no one understood this. The whole Nouvelle Cirque idea, I mean, it was just brilliant. Guy's high wire gamble paid off. Cirque du Soleil was a hit. Over almost three decades, Guy has produced shows with endless variety. The manager. Be the Elvis. Well, you can do anything, but take me over my blue suede shoes. And the Beatles love. All you need is love, love, love is all you need. What you have is awesome. Totally, oh. I have the best job on the world. His greatest triumph is in Las Vegas, where Cirque has seven permanent shows, including his most creative and challenging production ever. O, oh, Circus Underwater. The first Cirque du Soleil that I saw was O oh, in Las Vegas. Mm. They're swimming, they yeah. come up, they go down, they don't drown. It was three years and a half of experimentation of all kinds. And water, you don't dictate to water what to do. Water, you have to adapt to the rhythm of water. This year, for the first time, ticket sales will pass a billion dollars. 
Every new show begins here in Montreal at the 18-acre campus for Cirque's 5,000 employees and performers. It's an incubator for creativity, where the circus is being reinvented daily. We have artists coming from over 50 countries all over the world. We're a microcosm of this planet. There is an artist dormitory and a practice gym. Get up there, let me see what you do. You create it. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> the costume shop is the biggest in the world. More than 400 artisans working daily to create costumes, masks, wigs, and shoes. And he loves to travel into new frontiers. Two years ago, as a 50th birthday present to himself, he paid $35 million to become the seventh tourist to go into space, spending nine days at the International Space Station. Bye-bye, everybody. I need a personal challenge, and I need to get back to that feeling when I was in the street, a total feeling of freedom. Is it true that you put a red nose on like a clown? Actually, yes. Water a clown fall. nose and you a went A clown, yeah, yeah, yeah. Peace. Right here, right here. You're a billionaire. Uh, on paper, you know, it's just like... Okay, but, but you are. What do you spend the money on? Uh, most of it reinvesting in, in, in Cirque du Soleil. I give a lot of money to uh, charities. He himself gives millions to help provide clean water in developing countries through what he has called his One Drop Foundation. I believe your generation will make a difference. Guy owns an island in French Polynesia, a sailboat and five houses. He has five children, including two with his partner, former model Claudia Bertolo. No marriage? Why not? Why not? Why not? You know, they ask you to say some words and then make promise things when you get married. It will be a lie, so... <laughs> I don't want to sign up on something. I, I was just going to say, I've never, <laughs> I, hope, I hope the person you're living with isn't listening. No, no, but no, she does. She, she, knows, does. she knows my She knows no marriage. Yeah, yeah. Do you still take risks? Every day. One of the risks that you take, you love to play poker. Yes, I and don't consider very that as taking a risk. Reportedly, Guy has won over hey, $7 million dollars in the last five years playing high stakes poker. You do not show emotion. <laughs> show me your poker face. Oh, you're scary. That's a scary face. <laughs> that was a short one. <laughs> he also has the distinction yeah. of losing the most money in a single hand of poker. Wow. $815,000. Part of the risk-taking personality is the ability to overcome failure. Most of us would go home and cry, probably for many days. Guy just shakes it off. One of the things that makes billionaires successful is their reaction to failure. You're a man who followed his dreams. Yes. The kid who started on the streets. And now you are letting other people dream by coming to your Cirque du Soleil. Everything we do here is to entertain at Cirque du Soleil. We make people forget their problem for a couple of hours. And this is a great, it's good for the soul.